thief broke into a customer's locker at a 24-hour fitness on Jones Road. And to cover his tracks, he replaced the lock. The thief then went on to rack up thousands on the victim's credit cards. Jennifer Bauer is live now with the efforts to track down this thief. And, Jen, we may be talking about several victims here. They do think there are a lot of victims, Dominique, and the police also tell us that this suspect is running a very organized operation. What he's doing is he's going into these area gyms and he's cutting locks off of lockers, then stealing wallets and replacing the locks with locks that look identical. Then a few minutes or even a few hours later when the owner comes back and tries to get in and can't, well, he then has to go get a manager or someone else to cut that lock off. And all of this, police say, takes a lot of time, which is exactly what this guy's looking for because he wants to go shopping with those stolen credit cards before they're canceled. This is the man police are looking for. This picture was taken inside a Best Buy store. Police say that's where he bought $2,000 worth of merchandise on a stolen credit card. The credit card belonged to Kevin Galloway. And when I got into my gym bag, my wallet and my cell phone were gone. Galloway's items were stolen from inside a locker at this 24-hour fitness on 249 near Jones Road. Investigators believe this man is targeting area gyms, breaking into lockers by cutting off the locks, stealing wallets, then replacing the locks with identical ones. When I got back to my locker, I noticed that the... Uh... The lock felt quite a bit different when I spun the front dial on it. Sergeant Al Peterson is working the case for the Harris County Sheriff's Office. She says there are a lot of victims out there at several area gyms. She also says the suspect is running a sophisticated operation. He's well dressed and doesn't appear suspicious, and he knows exactly who to target. If he sees someone that's really not paying attention or they're going to be in the gym a while, I'm sure he w he'll watch them and then he'll target that person. Now, investigators, of course, want to warn people who frequent the gym to be on the lookout for this guy. Uh, Sergeant Peterson is also asking any other victims to come forward and contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office. We are live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.